our automate and the common data service. Let's take a look at my application again. So this is my expenses. Okay, and what I want to do is when I add a new line items, I want the total to be recalculated. So there are different ways to do that. The first way is to use a formula that will go through every line items in Power Apps. That's very easy. The problem is scalability because you, have, you might have delegation issue, which means that uh, the system just make the treatment on the client instead of a server. So there are some scalability issue uh, if you use formula. Not always, but in my case, that was the case, right? So I could rely to a feature built in the common data service, which is the rollup. So in my expense entity, I've defined a field called total. And in total, I did create a rollup, which basically, let's click again, uh, total here, the rollup, which basically goes for the uh, current expense to the all related line items and at the, the cost, right? So that, that was very easy. Uh, the problem is it does not trigger instantly. It can take several hours before the uh, rollup trigger. So rollup are very, very scalable. They're very interesting, but not for my specific scenario. And that's why I did create a flow with Power Automate. So my flow was the following. When a record is updated in the line items entity, please take all the related line items. So I use a filter query and calculate every line items cost, right? So increment a variable and that's it. Also, I've implemented soft delete because there was no soft deleted in a common data service. So even though you delete a record in line item, I still keep it and I tag it as soft delete so that I know exactly what was in there. And the benefit is if you delete a record in line items, your flow can still trigger because the record is still there, but it's tagged, right? So that was the, the reason for that. So that worked very well. And let's say I'm going to employee starter kit, amount is 1013. So let's say I'm going to add a new line items which is um, Uber Eat, right? So cost is 1,000. And category is food, save. And normally, the system should calculate that. Let's refresh a little bit. And now you see the formula give me, this is the total calculated with the Power Apps formula, give me 2,000. Oh, sorry, same for the flow, 2,000, but the rollup is still not triggered, right? So it can take hours before the rollup trigger. All right, let's take a look at CDS and Dataflow. What is Dataflow? Why you need CDS? Well, if you, if you remember, uh, in the begin beginning of this session, I mentioned that you have external data and internal data. The good practice is, of course, to keep the data where it is, but sometimes you need to migrate. You need to migrate from external to external. One way to do that is to create a Power Automate script, right? And to sync or migrate with Power Automate. The other way is to create a data flow. So data flow is like Power Query, but Power Query online, Power Query on the server. And let's say you have a different type of data source. It could be any kind of data source. And you want to migrate that the, to the cloud or to CDS. So you can use Dataflow, uh, which allow you to copy, to combine, to transform, to refresh. So Dataflow is basically Power Query Online. And you can send this information to CDS. And when it's in CDS, of course, you can use that from Dynamics, from Power Apps, from Power Automate, from Power Virtual Agent, from Power BI, even from native application. But you can also send this information uh, to Data Lake. By using data flow and when it's in data lakes you can make more complex analytics by using power bi there are two flavors of data flow data flow for the power platform it's lake and cds and data flow for power bi it's lake only 